The scale of development in China is like nowhere else on Earth. But this rapidly modernizing landscape comes with its own costs. Once close-knit communities are being separated by urban migration. In this vast country, it can be a challenge to stay in touch. New media has jumped on the opportunity to bridge that gap. One company is solving China's problem of alienation by bringing people back together virtually. Three years ago, a small group of Chinese entrepreneurs invented something called WeChat. This mobile-only social media platform now has 400 million active monthly users, and literally two-thirds of the entire country has a WeChat account. WeChat isn't your average messaging app. Their innovations have fundamentally changed the way Chinese communicate and interact, online and off. Popular functions include Moments and Shake Shake, both of which are social media platforms unique to WeChat. But their most transformative feature has been voice messaging. WeChat popularized voice messaging. Now, text messaging in Chinese is laborious, so WeChat found a way for people to send voice memos instead. It's now a ubiquitous form of communication throughout the country. So, in a sense, your invention, your creation of this voice memo. Yeah, took the challenge of the Chinese typing, yeah. and gave people an alternative. It changed the way of the Chinese user how they use the mobile phone. Ever since the voice message, we kept changing the behavior of Chinese user. WeChat's innovations have created a digital bridge for populations and cultures that are new to social media. Inspired by the pictorial nature of the Chinese language, the company has embraced a logic of visual communication that has gone global. Now, what does a surprised bunny, a naked frog, and a flaming horse have in common? Generally speaking, practically nothing. However, if you're Chinese and you use WeChat, these stickers are rapidly becoming a new form of communication. Stickers are animated standalone expressions, and because they're not tied to any specific alphabet, they can transcend language. So, who's that koala? Momo. Momo goes to the movies. Momo drinks a pina colada. Momo gets hammered and passes out. Why do you think stickers have taken off as much as they have in China? Uh, actually, you know, some people may still think that's uh, just animation, right? But we actually advanced that to a new language. No matter what language you talk—English, Chinese—you know, you can use this to express all the world. You know, they can understand you. But that's universal language, right? Stickers are both limitless and completely customizable. They can represent virtually anything. <laughs> There's just a sort of point in time you know you've made it. You just. You've done all you're going to do, and you've sort of achieved that goal. And it's time to retire, and、uh, this is that moment for me. I'm an emoticon. For WeChat, the entire country is like a gigantic playground and test lab, where they're able to observe and engage with a rapidly evolving society. Their goal is to continue to invent novel ways for users to connect with one another. More and more people are moving to the big cities from small cities, so they will find very difficulty in meeting new friends, talking to their old friends. Everything in the big city, the life is too difficult for them. So the way to connect is not necessarily obvious to everyone. And then all of a sudden, WeChat comes around at the exact right moment. Yes, that's how the story happened. Today, their innovations are creating even more solutions to relieve the stresses caused by China's rapid urbanization. But they aren't limiting themselves to the virtual world. What is this mess of objects I see here?、Uh, this、uh, all of the hardware devices connecting to the WeChat. We are doing exploration here. I mean, give me a sense of like what you guys are trying to, to sort of hack into. So, Beetle, you're going to open up your WeChat account. Yeah. I can only imagine what kind of pictures you have on there from the weekend, Beetle. From woo, that was a fun night, huh? I don't know who that is. She's pretty cute. Is that your girlfriend? My wife. Okay, cool. My bad.、Uh, 
Um, okay, so anyway, and if you want to send these pictures to say your grandmother, yeah, because she was lo she loves your new wife, she wants to see pictures of you and your new wife, yeah, you give her the gift of the picture frame, yeah, and then how do you send her the pictures of you guys? I just pick a picture and choose it. So I send through the WeChat. Hey! And so there you are. There's you and your lovely wife. So grandma's hanging at home. She says, how's Beetle? So happy he found someone he loves. So his grandma is hanging out by herself. Wondering, what is he doing today? Is he having a good time? Bang! It is a kind of, I mean, it is, it's, it's, we're being silly about it, but it is a kind of a really, like my grandmother would have loved to have this. I think this is an amazing, interesting way to involve someone who can't physically be here, but let them know what you're up to. What's your grandma's name? Uh, my grandma's name is... <laughs> Two. You see, this is Case in point. They forgot, they forgot if, their names. if ever there was evidence of a cultural crisis, I just asked Beetle his grandmother's name. You know what he said? He had to think about it. You're forgetting your grandmother's name. You've got to get this to her as soon as possible, otherwise, you're going to break the bonds of your family connection. <laughs> I'm adding Beetle. I turned on my friend radar and I just got four new WeChat friends like that. Look at this. Beetle sent me something. What did Beetle send me? What? Look at these two good looking guys, huh? Huh? Look at this. Look at this face. Huh? My new friend. WeChat's innovations have revolutionized the way families and friends stay in touch. Their next step is to connect all the hardware in our offline physical world and to create an entire ecosystem of connections for business. China's mobile app, WeChat, is transforming the meaning of connectivity in the country. They're moving beyond individual-to-individual -individual connections to a network that will combine communication, commerce, and entertainment. Well, in traditional model, people just uh, sit in sofa and watch TV, just silent, silent, and say nothing and do nothing and they just uh, receive the information from the TV station. You're interested in actually changing that relationship, making it a two-way dialogue. Yeah, a contact. A contact. Yeah. WeChat's goal is to give millions of viewers the power to choose. By shaking their phones, they'll be able to vote for their favorite artists on TV, purchase the same clothes an actor is wearing, and even decide what happens next in a TV drama. So in a sense, TV has been giving you the information mm -hmm. since you were a kid. Yeah. And now with this, you want to start talking back. Everybody wants to express their ideas. WeChat wants to radically change the way people use mobile phones. To date, their network includes over 5.8 million accounts from a diverse range of industries. Literally one-fifth of all Chinese companies have their own WeChat account. And every day, it's joined by nearly 15,000 new participants. They're using WeChat to manage their businesses and to interact with their customers. Individual users, companies, and media are all connected within an ecosystem in a new, interactive way. And they're constantly working to define and refine how new media will shape their lives in the future. Beijing is here. Yeah. So these are the huge areas. Beijing, yeah. Shanghai, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangdong. This, this is tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> you know, Alan, it seems to me that there are certain moments when a technology sort of transcends its function and becomes a part of culture. And it seems to me that WeChat has done that. Whether it's the mobile talking or, or people photographing their food, WeChat has become a part of Chinese culture in just three years. What's, what's led to that level of penetration? Silen 
中心处理系统，然后把它再分发给需要信息的所有的接收单元，包括人或者企业或者一些物品。You know, WeChat as a case study speaks volumes about how China works. A big idea with massive adoption on a huge scale. Let me put this in perspective. It took Facebook 54 months to get their first 100 million users. Twitter did it in 49 months. Here in China, WeChat got their first 100 million users in just 15 months. But beyond the speed at which it's grown, it's also how it's penetrated society. I mean, if you walk around China, the way people hold their phones, photograph their foods, communicate with their parents, WeChat isn't just impacting the culture, but it's literally beginning to transform it. I'm heading to Dali in the Yunnan province to find out how WeChat's innovations are changing the way that people interact with the world around them. <laughs> That's me. Now, why are they very excited? Check this out. This will be one of the first ever crowdsourced set list. By that I mean, before their favorite artist comes on, these guys will shake their phones to vote for the songs that they want to hear. So in other words, the crowd is involved in transforming the concert based upon their involvement. Now the shaking has begun. There it is. Come on, number two. Come on, number two. There it is! So there you have it. First song of the night, picked by the crowd, sung by the band, crowdsourced concert experience. They shook, they voted, their voices were heard, and they got what they wanted. WeChat's concert is emblematic of the remarkable changes happening in China today. This is just not something you would have seen here even three years ago. As WeChat's technology evolves, it will continue to influence how we communicate and how we live.